Heavy rain, flooding and power outages are continuing to affect many parts of the country. Met Service still has watches and warnings in place for the Lower and Central South Island, Buller District and Lower North Island. A number of highways and roads remain closed in the Selwyn District, South Island Passes, West Coast, Manawatu and Coromandel Peninsula. Met Service forecaster Jared Bellum says conditions should ease about lunchtime today. We've got a deep low um, heading southwards over um, the South Island this morning. After that we should see the weather conditions ease over the South Island. Rising geopolitical tensions are high on the agenda at the Pacific Islands Forum, with both China and US vying for influence in the region. Prime Minister Jacinda Ardern says it's important to make sure coercion is not at play in the superpower's relationships with the Pacific. Auckland University Faculty of Law Emeritus Professor Jane Kelsey says influence with the Pacific Islands translates to votes in the United Nations. But in an economic and resource sense, there is a very big ocean, a very large fishery resource, plus a variety of other mineral resources. New research is providing a deeper understanding of long COVID and chronic fatigue syndrome. Researchers from New Zealand and Australia have developed a model to explain what makes the conditions affect people on an ongoing basis. The model proposes that after the initial virus or stressor, a signal continuously cycles from the brain to the body, causing the patient to relapse and not heal. Lead author, Otago University Emeritus Professor Warren Tate, says there's some data that suggests long COVID and ME chronic fatigue syndrome are closely related. And he suggests research into long COVID will be beneficial. Whatever we find out in investigating long COVID will be relevant to ME CFS. Auckland City Mission is taking over a hotel in central Auckland to offer shelter to 60 homeless. It signed a nine-year lease with the owner of Park Hotel on Day Street with one right of renewal, meaning the arrangement could continue for just under 20 years. The biggest roading project in Waikato's history is open. The Hamilton section of the 102-kilometre Waikato Expressway is the fourth and final part of a project that started in the 1990s. It runs from Ngaruawahia in the north to the existing Tamahere interchange south of Hamilton. The speed limit is 110 kilometres per hour. Waka Kotahi Regional Infrastructure Manager Joe Wilton says the highway is lined with just under 90,000 native plants. Also, we have done some restoration in the gully systems that frequent the Waikato region with natives and exotics, which create habitat for both the lizards and the bats that are native to the region. Former Wellington Mayor Sir Michael Fowler has died at the age of 92. He was one of the capital city's best-known mayors. The architect became a Wellington City Councillor in 1968 and stood unsuccessfully for National in the Hutt electorate in 1972. Fowler then went on to serve as Wellington's mayor between 1974 and 1983. His name lives on. The Michael Fowler Centre opened in 1983. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel to stay up to date with all the latest news from the New Zealand Herald. Click the subscribe button below or check out one of the videos here and head over to nzherald.co.nz for more details on these stories and more.